back to our channel myasmhelp.in uh, in this video we will look about the sap uh, factory calendar settings uh, we have seen about how do we set up the public holidays in the previous video i will give the link in the description so you can have a look and then come to this video in this video we will look about the um, factory calendar setting like starting from how do we use a sat key uh, how do we create the public holidays quickly and then how do we create a holiday calendar assigning to the factory calendar and also how do we define a special rules so this is the points that we will try to see in this slide points that we will be covering now for this hot key we will look for the public holidays holiday calendar then the factory calendar and also the special rules we will look at so you can see here uh, we will be using the transaction sql uh, we will sort with this transaction and see this okay so i am going to the transaction sql uh, first thing what we are planning to do is the creating the public holiday okay so i go to the public holidays i go to the change mode now i need to define my public holidays okay before that i will just make sure i have a proper sort key so this sort keys will help you to understand uh, what are the keys that we have i mean the uh, holidays that we have created so i have I, i am looking for a z01 key that key is not there so i am just going to use this uh, and create it okay so i go to a create the fixed one i am just going to create for a new year so it's the first day of the month so day 1 year 1 and then i put my sort key as z01 and then i here put it as new year okay and then new year and also uh, give attention here in case if it falls on a sunday okay then what should i do for it then i can say that move to next day next day is monday so generally you get a holiday for it right so that's why sorry i have to select it as a move to next day so this is all settings uh, we can uh, use additionally to that okay so this all time covering here so then i create this now i will also create uh, i will create one more holiday uh, for uh, december uh, 25th which will be kind of a christmas so that is uh, 25th day on the month of 12 i'm not going to do much things go so create here christmas and i'll just christmas day okay then i just give the say this and go back so we have created two holidays now right one is christmas day and another one is new year day so now we have created a public holiday so as much as you want you can create it now i go to my holiday calendar go to change mode and then change mode now here also now we should know what is the key that we need to do so let me see i wanted to create with a zb i'm just going and seeing that zb key is there or not so i don't find a key so that is okay i will be able to create it so now i go here and put it as that b that b demo calendar okay so i am putting it this is valid from this year to i maybe i will give it to 50 and then i need to assign a holiday see here is where your sort key will come handy i go here i filter with my own keys so i need not worry about anything i just go here put this at row 1 So you can see here right so these two keys are two holidays is what we created so i just assign them so this is already assigned now okay now i just uh, save this okay okay my now my holiday calendar is created now i need to uh create so we have created our sort key that is okay public holiday is created okay now we have created this now we are going to create our factory calendar okay save this come back now i go out i wanted to go and create my factory go to change mode i apply the same logic i go here and see if my factory calendar that b is there because okay it is not there so that's helpful so i go here put my zb that be demo factory calendar calendar and then i have to give me holiday calendar right so now i know that is that be so i have just put here this one so monday tuesday thursday fridays are all uh, work days okay and then i just save this okay now i have created my factory calendar also now i need to check it how this factory calendar 
is performing right at least how it has been created so i just go back out of it go here to display mode i come to my factory calendar that is zb created i go here and i go to my calendar so i have created till 2027 only so let's say go here go to the year correct so you know 1123 was a holiday but then it has been moved to because it has fallen where is 112023 you are in eighth month okay first day was sunday if it has fallen on any on saturday or sunday sunday means we are moving to monday you can see here you got a bridge holidays first and second both are holiday and christmas 2512 is also holiday where is 2512 oh okay 2512 is Saturday, but then it didn't get moved. Amazing. That's what we wanted to check out, right? So, no, where is this? Ah, okay. Twenty five is a Monday. Uh, it's there. Okay, it has given a holiday. Okay. So now what we have seen is factory calendar. Now let us look at the special rules. So let's go back to Slim SQL. What we will do is uh, we go to factory calendar change mode. We know 2512 we have given it go to our factory calendar. So we go to ZB, select this, go to change mode. Now we need to define about the special rule. Okay, so now we will take this case. Okay, this is the case we will try because we have already defined the holiday, right? 2512 we have defined a holiday. So what I do here, go here, create this. 25 12 2023 is defined as a holiday right so now i make it work day i put i put uh, christmas christmas work day okay now i save this and then i also do one more thing work day to holiday i create uh, let's say uh, 3rd of january right 3rd of january i will create it as a holiday because it was a work day only two days putting new holiday okay so we can see here this does not have a work day indicator this has a work day indicator okay i save this i move out of this save this fully come back here Come back here so you can also see that it has changed the special rule exist so come back here so now i will once again now i will once again do this factory calendar display i go here filter it and then do the zb okay and then i go here go to the calendar now I select this 2023, go to the year. So 2512, we can see here. So let us see where is our. You can see here third has become a non work day. Then this one has become 2512. Where is our 2512? Okay, we need to go a little down. Yeah, 25 dollars has become a work day so this is how the special rules will also help us uh, so we have seen all these things like transaction uh, and then sort key public holiday holiday calendar acti calendar work day to holiday to holiday to work day okay uh, thanks for watching this uh, if you have any queries or any doubt uh, please uh, leave a message and a comment okay thank you bye